Hey, Pastor Steve Waldrick here today. We're going to look at the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, what a wonderful thing. You know, without the shedding of blood, there is no remission. Jesus couldn't have died by strangling or some other means. He had to shed his blood. The Bible says in Leviticus that the life of the flesh is in the blood. So Jesus shed his blood for us. Important five letters, two words there. It was for us. Acts chapter 20 verse 28 says this, Take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock over the which the Holy Ghost hath made you overseers to feed the church of God which he hath purchased with his own blood. God had blood. When did God have blood? In the person of Jesus Christ. In 1 John chapter 1, we're going to see how that blood, we know it's applied initially at the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, repentance, water baptism in Jesus' name, reception of the Holy Ghost, but then it continues in our life as we see in 1 John 1, 7. But if we walk in the light as He is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood, does everybody say the blood? The blood of Jesus Christ, His Son, cleanses us from all sin. So we need to keep walking. If we walk in the light, the blood continually cleanses us. The blood is effective for spiritual warfare. For we read in the book of Revelation, the 12th chapter, Revelation chapter 12, it says, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the death. Friend, I'm going to tell you that blood that was shed on Calvary. So amazing. So awesome. And the Old Testament was the blood of bulls and goats. But it could never completely, could just push forward our sin. But we have a once and for all sacrifice, Jesus Christ. And he took that blood, he took it into the heavenly, holiest of holies, according to the book of Hebrews, sprinkled that Ark of the Covenant up there, that the one on, on earth is just a shadow or just a type, and he obtained eternal redemption for us. Thank God for the blood. Thank God for the blood. Thank God for the blood, for it washes white as snow. As G.T. Haywood said, of all those songs written about it, he said, I see a crimson stream of blood that flows from Emmanuel's veins. And it's waves which reach the throne of God are sweeping over me. Oh, that blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, you've got to have the blood. You've got to have it applied. And then when you walk in holiness, it keeps on cleansing. God bless you. Live for Jesus.